Hey, welcome back, guys. Um, today, I'm just going to take a look at my uh, CD changer of choice for my main rig. Um, now, I know some of you guys like the, you know, the big audiophile types, the ones that are more, you know, have to have high end, you know, everything. Probably laugh at that, but this is an excellent sounding unit, and the reliability wise, providing it's from January of 1987, I mean. <laughs> You can't beat it. The only thing I ever had to do to this was when I got it. I got it on eBay for relatively cheap. And it just said, doors won't open, makes noise. Well, these things, these doors and the elevator on these units are belt driven. And I don't know what kind of belts they use in these things, but they uh, weren't exactly the best. So I use uh, O-rings as a, a proper size O-ring as a replacement. I find that it's a little bit stronger and, uh, it's, it's been in there for years now, and I haven't had a single problem with it. Still got the original, um, you can see the original sticker for it. It's in pretty good shape. There's all your functions. I love the displays on these things, too. I think they're cool. It's got, like, the calculator type. And if you put it on a CD that does indexing, it actually does some, does some pretty, uh, you know, unused different, you know, different stuff. As you can see, it has disc number, obviously track number, but then it has index number. Now, 99% of the time, that's going to say, you know, it's going to say 01 all the time or 01 all the time because most CDs are not indexed, especially the, uh, you know, anything made past like the mid to late 1980s. And now a lot of the, most of the ones that do have indexing are classical discs, which for me, I don't really listen to classical music. So, you know, rock album. There's only there's only so many of them. There might be a dozen, there might be two dozen rock albums that have that I found so far that have that utilize the indexing feature. It's more or less just for show than anything else. So as you can see, you got a pretty busy control panel on here. You got your memory and your uh, your check. I'm not I'm not really sure what the check does to be completely honest. I think that I think that's just so you can like go through and see what you got. That'll clear everything you have programmed in. So let's say you want to do, you have five CDs loaded up and you want them to play in a particular order where you want to skip certain songs that you don't really, you're not in the mood for, you don't like. It's though two, let's say you want to disc two, track seven, hit the memory button. Then let's say you want to hear disc five, track one, hit the memory button. Say then you want to hear disc one, track 14, uh, I don't even know if that has 14 tracks on it. Can't go track 10. Hit the memory button. And what it'll do when you hit play. I have the volume turned down. I don't plan on getting a copyright strike on this one. <laughs> Loads it right up. That song's done. Just took disc five. It's gonna play track one. That one's done. I said, hopefully, I think it. I think it does. I forget what album I have in disc one right now. Hopefully, it has ten tracks on it. If it doesn't, it's gonna spit it back out. And you can do that up to 32 times. Now, obviously, it's done. And then if you want to keep playing them in the same order on repeat, you just hit the repeat button. Otherwise, once it's done playing your final track, it's going to stop. I don't really know what, you, what anybody would actually use the uh, intro scan for, but I'll show you what it does. Uh, that's actually still in my program, so i got to clear the program and leave it on intro scan. I think what it's going to do is play like the first couple seconds of every, every song until you hit, you know, play. Yep, it's going to play the first 10 seconds of every track until you hit, until you leave it at one. Display, you can change your display time, so that'll be how many, that'll be how long you have left of that whole disc. That'll be your normal. And that'll be how many tracks your CD has and how long it is to play through all your tracks. 
Like I said, I don't really know what you'd utilize that for. Repeat, obviously. It does not repeat one. It repeats. It, it makes it so when you get done disc five, it plays through everything. The only way to repeat one or repeat a single disc is to set a program first and then hit the repeat button. This is obviously your disc selection, so stop. We'll return it back home. Oh, always, before you turn these off, always make sure the tray is homed out. These things are pain in the ass to get back in cycle if it loses where it's at. Ask me how I know. Say so you want to go to disc three, just hit that, obviously. Anybody's ever used a CD player before would know that. This ain't really nothing spectacular out of the ordinary here. Now, the thing I like the most about these is actually the loading mechanism. Now, to get your discs out of here, it never gets old. I love it. Disc one, two, three. completely wicked <laughs> like I said oh and also these things have a uh, this one does not some of the later ones have the indent on there they play the three I think three inch discs yeah that one here doesn't have it one of these days I'll show you one that does I'm gonna see if it'll let me turn it around quick we'll get a look at the back of it like I said it's not really out of the ordinary pretty uh Pretty basic unit, honestly. I'll unhook it quick because it's not going to let me. Uh, I don't have enough slack. Yeah, I, I, I try to tidy all my wires up, so I kind of screwed myself with that a little bit. All right, you've got your typical line output. Nothing major there. This one doesn't have like a digital out or remote control out like some like the second generation does. Has one unswitched AC outlet output. And here's your data plate. This says a model number DAC205. That dirt tells you that was manufactured. Here, let me get this out of the tripod for a minute. January of 1987. So yeah, we're not dealing with anything too fancy here, but it doesn't have to be. All it has to do, all it has to be at the end of the day is reliable and uh, and work, which it definitely is. Like I said, they're just they're just cool looking. They're just nice looking machines. So anyway, guys. Uh, that pretty much sums it up for that. I don't really see anything I missed. Oh, I know what I can do quick. Let me grab a disc that does utilize an index. And I can show you that feature quick, just for, just so you know. Just so I can say I showed you. So, good place to start here would be Rush. This album's called Caress of Steel. It's their 1975 release. Now, if you look, you just got your usual Bastille Day. I think I'm going bald. Lakeside Park. Just regular tracks, you know. But then if you look over here, it tracks four and five. See how they have these uh, subtracks under there? Well, those are your indexes. Most people wouldn't think nothing of them unless you're playing them in a CD player that utilizes the index feature which most of them do not except for some of the early ones as this one is and it'll only be early pressings of the cd to have it so if you get a like a remastered version it might still be labeled like that but chances are your cd is not indexed and you can't really i don't think you can really see it in and you can see like the track lines on the on the press sometimes but usually not the indexes anyway
Now this CD player here just pretty much displays them. Now, let's see, try to play it. Yeah, usually this here's all you're gonna see, like track one, track two, track three. Now four is one of your indexed ones. Now when you hit next, it's gonna skip to the next track, not your index. However, as the CD plays on, like we're gonna skip to five and go back into four so you can see it. So that should take me into track four, index three. Which it does. So that means that, th that this part of the, tr that 10 minutes and 34 seconds into the song, is part of the Return of the Prince index, which is, that index is three minutes and 52 seconds long. Go over the track, up to track five. That actually has six indexes in it. Total of a 20 minute long track. About four minutes and 18 seconds into it, you're gonna get the index two. And about a minute later, three. We'll skip through it just so you can see. Now we're in index two. So basically it's used to navigate long passages of songs or just to realize where you're at. This is one of the longest, uh, this is one of the ones that have the most index marks that I have. There's a few of them out there that Aldo Nova's first album's like that with Fantasy. And there's quite a few of them. Uh, Grateful Dead's Terrapin Station, I believe is like that. It is quite a few. One of these days I'll do a video on that. Different CDs with the Utilize the Index feature. It's only 19 second minutes long. Like I said, that'll skip out and finish up. Just like we're going to do. Anyway, guys. I made it all the way through. Um, if you have any questions, you know, thank you and let me know what you think. Uh, any comments or questions, I'll be glad to answer them or entertain them. So, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again on the next one. Sorry, guys, one more key feature I forgot this unit actually has on it. And I use it a lot. Like I said, I just got done working a 12 hour shift, so please bear with me. But like I said, it's a pretty. Uh, Pretty full featured remote, honestly, for as literally covers all your playback purposes. You can index, you can scan, you can access your memory, you can set, you can you can program the CD player for 32 tracks all the way from the other side of the room. For example, let's say I want to try uh, track, uh, disc two, track six, hit that, and then hit the play button. You can do that all while sitting back there. It's great. There you can go in, let's say you're back there, you just wanna hit random play. Or if you're in a mood for, if you're in a mood for something else. play button or you know skip one at a time yeah, you get the idea but yeah anyway and the model number for that remote that comes with this player is actually rem-200 so yeah it really comes in handy especially if you're listening to stuff and you're having you don't have any desire to change the volume you just want to skip a track or skip or you know go to something else it makes it very easy to do Anyway, guys, I mean it this time. Peace out, and thanks for watching.